Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So in the last video, you saw me weld together this three-piece aluminum cowl, and today I'm going to be mounting it to the frame and step rolling the front edge here for the hood to fit into. So enjoy the video, and don't forget that if you want to see more frequent updates on the build and other things I've been doing, you can follow Macro Machines on Instagram.
Okay, so I got the front of the cow all trimmed and squared up now. The next thing to do is to put a step roll on the front edge of this, um, just like this test piece is here, and that will let the hood sit down in that little recess there, and it'll look nice and clean. For doing that, I have this cheap step roll here. It's not Harbor Freight, and I don't think Harbor Freight makes them anymore, but it's basically the same thing. Um, and I have the step rollers in there, and you just feed your piece of sheet metal through there and turn the hand crank at the back and it'll, it'll roll this bead in there for you. Um, the problem right now with this is, like I said, this is pretty cheap and these are cheap rollers and the edges of them are not very good at all. Um, they have dings and dents in them and it leaves a pretty bad mark on the inside of the bead there and then on the outer edge here because that's, that's this edge of the roller catching your flat piece of metal. So what I'm going to do before I actually use this is throw these two things in the lathe and just kind of polish them up a little bit um, so they'll give a little bit nicer finish. Okay, so I have these wheels here polished up pretty nicely. They leave a much nicer finish now um, on the inside of those bends. You can see that the outside edge of this roller here still leaves a bit of a line there in the panel, but if I put a little bit of painter's tape on there, that's enough that the roller can't get through, and you can see it leaves no mark on the actual metal itself. So I'll do that on both sides because underneath there, um, this edge also leaves a line. So I have my panel here, the cowl with the line drawn there, and I'm going to follow that line with this edge of the top roller, and I'm going to try to keep it as straight as possible. Okay, well, the bead went pretty straight, but you can see that the edge did wrinkle there quite a bit in some places, mostly on, on the edges. Um, I think I'll be able to fix that. I'm going to try to just kind of bend this lip in little by little. It doesn't seem to have distorted this top side too badly, so this should be fixable. So I got the wrinkles worked out of the front here, um, most of the way. There's still a little bit of work to do, um, but I should be able to get that out without too much of an issue, and I'll get it back to that same curvature that I had before. Um, the cow overall, though, I'm very happy with. It's only going to be fastened to the frame by those few bolts that I have on the bottom on each side. Um, it's not actually going to be fastened to these subframe rails that I have that come up under it. And I don't think it's necessary because you can see it, it hugs that subframe very tightly and there's really no, there's no play in there at all. 
And that's the way I designed it. I designed it so that I could just bolt it down on the sides and it would just kind of wrap itself around those two rails up here and not need any additional fastening. And right now it's just steel on aluminum there. There will be some sort of leather or some type of padding underneath there just so you don't have that metal on metal contact. But it should work great. The next step is to make the grill shell. That's also something I'm going to be making custom from scratch as well. In the same manner I did this out of the same aluminum. Um, it'll be welded together and it'll have the same sort of lip on the back of there so that the hood should be able to set right in there very nicely. So that's where I am now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.